All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and set the frame aside for just a second, and let's go ahead and get our ESC out, because this video is going to be on the ESC, and you're going to have to solder your XT60 connection, so be prepared for that. Uh, unless you asked us to do it for you, or what have you, you will be soldering your XT60 connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this bag. There we go. Please pay attention to a few things here. It's going to be very important, okay, that we follow along properly. So first thing we're going to do is let's look at our ESC. Okay, we have a, a plug here that we're going to be uh, plugging our, our pins into, and we have our pads here for our XT60, and we have our pads here for our motors. I'm going to set this aside for the time being because I want to focus on the uh, XT60 itself and setting this up. So one of the things we're going to need, which I'm going to grab right here, is you're going to need a... You're going to need a heat sink. You're going to grab the heat sink tubes right here. You're going to need a red and a black to assemble, to do your heat shrink. Uh, so, and then I can, you can use anything you want to hold your XT60. I have an XT60 holder um, that I have put somewhere. I'm going to grab that real quickly. But I will also tell you that I've done this with my uh, wire cutters. And I'll show you, actually, I'll show you how to do that too. Let me go grab a rubber band and I'll show you how easy this to be. Okay, so if you have like a, a, a pliers or something that you want to use, that's fine. What you can do is you just want something to hold it gently in place. So what I do is I take something like this and I just put it just like that. See how that's it? As a matter of fact, I'll just use this, okay? Uh, so here's the thing. We've got to get these wires into here, okay? And then we've got to get them soldered to the board. So let me go ahead and get that ready. Uh, and we will not put the um, heat shrink on yet until we do this part here. So what we're going to do first is you're going to get your flux pen. You're going to need that. And you're going to have some solder. I'm going to pull mine here in just a second. And this is what the XT60 holder looks like. So if you have one of these, it's great. You just basically put it in here. You tighten it down and it stays in place. Okay, so it doesn't move. But we'll go this route uh, because a lot of people don't have that. And I want to show you a way that it actually works. Okay, so my soldering iron's almost ready. I got mine getting ready to heat up here. So I will get the solder. <laughs> And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flux pen and I'm just gonna go over the entire area of this just to make sure it's all set up and fluxed right so that the solder sticks properly, okay? And pay close attention to what we do next because it will make a difference. Here we go. So I'm going to take a piece of solder. Let's see if I can zoom in on this for you just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unwind my soldering iron I'm going to place a little bit of solder into the opening here and I'm going to just start melting it so I can fill up this uh, little area here okay so I'm just gonna melt it and melt it and fill it up and slowly solder will start getting into that area and you'll end up with it somewhat solder closed like this now I'll lift this up so you can see it if you look at that you can see where it is basically solder I've closed that opening up just a little bit okay so that's not all the solder I want to use, but I'd also don't want to drench it too much because what will happen is it'll pour out then and putting the heat shrink's not going to be easy. And I, I even still make that mistake today, so it happens. All right, so when this is closed up and good, we're going to take our, um, our, our wire here and I'm going to find my helping hands, which is right here, okay? And I'm going to, even though it is pre-tinned already, I'm going to pre-tin it some more with my own solder because my solder melts quicker than, than the factories does. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, just like that. Make sure that I get all my solder in there really good. Okay, excellent. Now, I can move that and I'm going to take my tweezers and I wanna find this, my pair that I put. Because the wire will, it can get hot when you're doing this, and you want to make sure you don't lose your grip on it. Let me see if I can find where I put them. Uh, you know what? I'll just use these ones then for the time being. Okay. So if you're using the tweezers, you just basically want to, and I mean, you don't have to. I guess I could use my hands here. Basically, what you want to do is you want to heat up the outside of this by keeping your soldering iron on the outside only on the outside ridge and it'll melt the, it'll melt the rest of the solder okay and then when you do that you place the cable inside it'll go down and now you see how i have a little excess solder that came out i'll show you that in a second but if you look at this 
you're gonna see this excess solder right here. I'm not too worried about that because once it cools, I can just snip this off and it's gonna come off, okay? But that's how you do this and now that's in there really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around now and we're gonna do the other side, just like that, okay? And uh, let me see, I will get, um, I wonder if I can do this. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. Sorry guys, bear with me. If I can get, maybe I can show you this a little bit better. Let me see if I can have that on the solder there and show you guys what I'm doing. So let me see if I can get this camera angled properly to show you that, okay? Uh, there, I'm gonna leave it like that. And hopefully that'll get you guys even a better picture of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna split screen this. Uh, let me see, so I'll do one, two, there we go. So let's look at it this way. And then on this one, I'll zoom in so you can see the process as well, okay? So we're doing the positive on this one, right? So again, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna fill up this area, okay, with solder. I'll need some more solder. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the positive wire, which is right here. I'll use my helping hands again. And we're gonna tin this up. Okay, there we go. All right, now, once that's done, we'll just take this and I'm gonna put my soldering iron on the outer edge of this, but don't press because it'll melt the plastic and you can push that through. So just get it on there enough to heat the solder that's already in here, okay? Just hold it like that. You'll see it start melting it. And once it does, you can easily just put the wire in there and then twist it a little bit and press it down and your wire is in and there you go. Okay, now, again, we have a little bit of excess coming out. Let me show you what that looks like. So you'll see it right here. You can see the little excess that's come out. So what we're gonna do, we will just take our, our cutters here. And just gently, once you snip that off, oops, let me not get there, there you go. And it comes out and you're done. Okay, and we'll take whatever excess is on here. Just cut it off. It's no big deal because we're going to, these are on solid. And what we're gonna do is get rid of these, throw those out, okay? And the next thing we're gonna do is look, we're gonna put in enough heat shrink to fit down there and I would say if you take a measurement uh, I would say take about 15 millimeters of heat shrink okay just like that and I will mark it with oh actually I'm just gonna mark it like this I'll just take my my cutters put them right over and there you go okay there's 15 millimeters of heat shrink cut it's not the straightest cut but it's a cut nonetheless and then I'll do the same with the, I'll use the same uh, measurement here and just cut the black one. Set the excess heat shrink aside because you may want to use it later. All right, and there you go. Now with that done, we will just take the heat shrink, put it over the soldering areas, the joints here. Just like that. Make sure it's pressed down as much as you can get. Okay, just like that. So it should look like this. Okay. Then we're gonna take our heat gun. I'm just gonna heat these up. Turn it over. Heat up the other side. Make sure it's all good. And you're done. So that is part one. Uh, that is part one of getting your ESC ready, guys, is getting this done. So now that we're done with this, we're going to set it aside. And I'm going to grab the ESC and we're going to come back and do part two. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit.